Hobbs, no selling Phoenix's springboard reverse headbutt was great. It was like a bird hitting a windshield. <laughs> it's a party. Yeah. When the Bollywood boys come out. And, it's a party. Uh, okay, Brian. It's a party. Uh, I was trying to imitate you, and then you did it better than me because... It was a, a party. Because you're a gimmick. Mercedes Monet. Monet. So I said Monet. Monet. Welcome to Winnipeg. And then everyone goes, yeah, man. Probably wondering, what is the relationship between these two people? They look like they have nothing in common. It felt more important than most rampages. Hmm. It did? What is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos. Instead of the barbecue sauce, they had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore. But you get the, like the spicy Italian that have the add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, you, green pepper, onions, and you leap mushrooms. To answer this question. Man. I'm, I'm leap. strongly opinionated on this one. I'm also a fan of mushrooms. No, mushrooms are hideous. Mushrooms are fantastic. Yeah. Hideous. Absolutely atrocious. Your That's juvenile it. taste buds. <laughs> That's not juvenile, you moron. Yeah, it is. We all like different things. Oh, God damn we all like different things. Brian ever, Alvarez if I we ever, all like different things. If I ever try to say, you go, oh, we all like different things, Brian. We all like different things. Now I don't like yeah. fucking mushrooms and I'm a juvenile? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck mushrooms. You hear me? <laughs> Dagan says, what about psychedelic mushrooms? Well. Those are different kind of mushrooms. Brian, I got all I've sorts been of great to stuff. Tell you about Craig, we don't have time. We'll talk to you again after a you while. You are such a dick. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend. Sweet and sour mustard on there. Your sweet relish and onions. That's that's a meal right there. Jungle Boy's face first on the corner corner buckle. Corner corn buckle. <laughs> Junk. Here we go again. Corner yeah. corn buckle. Cigara versus Sakura. Sakura. Sakura versus... Emi Sakura versus who? Sagara? Sagara. Me Sagura? And Emi Sakura? Yeah, that's right. Sakura. Sakura. <laughs> Who's on first? Sagura and Sakura. A W. No, S A G A R. I was not late enough, I've determined. I should have arrived about a half hour after for right now. I found something about Brian on there that I won't repeat, though. <laughs> on Cage Match? Don't poke this bear. No, what did they, what did they say, Granny? <laughs> uh, well, they said that you weren't a good wrestler and you weren't a good uh, talker. Wow. She yeah. thinks it's funny. <laughs> well, that's not true, is it, Granny? No, it isn't. I exactly. Didn't I'll, speak, I'll speak up for you. That's not true. You're a great wrestler, exactly. Brian. Exactly. And you Thank talk you. all day. So what if I don't know about Armageddon? Armageddon? Armageddon. 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 So what if I don't know what it means? It's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're just reading jokes? She's working material, Brian. Okay, read another one. A blind man uh, ran into a bar, a table, and a chair. <laughs> I like him. I have happy. a few jokes about unemployed, unemployed people, but none of them work. <laughs> Hold it in front of your face. There. Uh, no, higher. Granny, in front of your face like this. Go like this. Cover your face with it. Cover your face with it. <laughs> okay, now lift it up just a little. All right. Hey, there we go. The once and former tag team champions met in a mission. And Jacques notes, whoops, there it was. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. Hold this that. Hold that up. Belt you see Show here. the stripes. Second degree. Oh, goodness. Wow. Second degree this past weekend. 100,000 subscribers on Twitter tonight and Black Label Pro Tag Team titles on Saturday. Goddamn, look at me. The highlight, of course, was Sting morphing into Orange Cassidy and slowly, softly beating his chest. You know, I'm sure Dax will get mad. This Our deals are up. I don't buy it for a second. I think that they have been either re-signed or their, their deals were never coming up. They still have time left on the deals. And this whole thing has just been a storyline to set up this deal right here. Taya Valkyrie is And here. another thing, mm -hmm. Dax, brother, 
I am so sick of hearing people talk about how they might want to go somewhere else. How is this helping AEW? You know, it's now storyline, all these guys going on Twitter and crying about how they want to leave. This is not what this company needs. What it needs is FTR to have great fucking tag team matches, go in there, win the tag team titles. We don't need this aspect of the storyline that they may quit. I don't know. Golly. This business has passed me by. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words, he's sick, written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they still have thigh bites now, but those are so good. The thigh bites at Wingstop are awesome. Kenny's freaking out because his friends were brutally attacked. Callus can't understand. What is your concern, he asks. And Omega looks at him bewildered. What is my concern? Those two going to the hospital may be the best thing that ever happened to us. What a leech. What a fantastic leech. Oh, yeah. Sky Blue and Tony Storm. It's a good match. It was a very good match. I thought Sky Blue looked really good this week. This was like a match from space. Yeah. In order to top this, now we need to go to another planet. We need another species. We need, No, we need to go to the moon. Ah, I see. Where there's less gravity. I see, yes. Now you can do some crazier shit. But as far as on this planet, with the gravity that we have, it's like, this is it. For God's sake, go watch this match. For God's sake, go watch this match if you have not yet. I mean, this had to be the greatest match in AEW history on television. And and I'm not taking anything away from any of the There have other been a ones. lot of great matches. I mean, there I don't been, know that you're wrong. There have been awesome matches, but dude, this thing was something special. This was nuts. Pretty Deadly comes out for a promo. They are the hosts of Stand and Deliver. Or as they say it, Stand and Deliver. And they do this over melodramatic pronunciation like 18 times this opening promo. And somehow it gets funnier and funnier and funnier the more they do it. Booker T in this match morphed into Granny. Says there's so many great classic ladder matches out there. Such as Razor Ramon versus 1-2-3-Kid. Huh. And first I thought he made a mistake. Uh, wait a minute. Sean's producing this show. There's no way he would screw that up on accident. That was a great rib. Come back after the break. Vic tries to correct Booker and say it was Razor Ramon and, the, and Shawn Michaels in the latter match. But Booker, like Granny, stands his ground. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, he says. I think that's what I'm talking about. I have absolutely <laughs> no fucking idea what this Lyra Valkyra is. She's a bird? She she claims to be like inspired by crows, or she's inspired by crows, or emulating crows. Listen, crows are a shitty bird. Okay, they're assholes. Russell Media goes Hollywood skit, making fun of the forty year old version, but Ridge is already waxed. So they had to glue fake hair on his chest and then tear it off. We cut backstage where Fallon Henley is distracted by lightning and thunder. I'm going to say this again. Listen closely. <laughs> We cut backstage yeah. where Fallon Henley is distracted by lightning and thunder. Braun offers Carmelo a handshake. And Carmelo looks at him. Carmelo holds out his fist for a fist bump. And Braun looks at him. He's apparently never seen a fist bump before. So he palms Carmelo's fist because he doesn't know how to communicate like a normal human. The build for this match continues to suck. This is a better show than last week. That was NXT. 